Howdy everyone. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, it's going to be more of a catch-up type of video just because I'm starting to skip around a lot with uh, the, the jobs that I'm working on on the airplane. So the videos are not going to be very coherent from one to the next. And um, I just kind of want to get, get everybody kind of caught up on where I am and where my mindset is. So the exciting news is that the reason I have to start going down this path of loose ends is because all of the major work is complete. So I'm getting down to the end of the build. I still have a lot to do, but all of the major work is finished and there are a lot of little things that need to still be attended to and they're all over the place. It's vinyl, it's cowling, it's engine, it's landing gear, it's all of that. And so the videos are going to jump around quite a bit, I believe, going forward. So here's kind of where I am. You can see I've got some more details done on the vinyl. And uh, that's been progressing well. Uh, there are times when I have to stop on the vinyl because I'm waiting on a new roll to show up and while I'm waiting on the new order to come I move on to something else and when I move on to something else I realize there are other things that I forgot to do so I jump around a lot so the vinyl for now is going to be put on hold I have a strip that needs to go here this silver bare aluminum this is going to be black and I don't have enough vinyl to do that it's kind of like this top piece of gray. I wanted to do that all in one piece. So while I was waiting for that gray to show up, I moved on to other things. It's the same thing with this black. It's a small strip, but because of the curve, it needs to be quite wide. And I don't have enough material to do that in one piece. So I'm putting that off until I order some more black. I'm not going to order the black quite yet because I still need to do black up here and I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to use because I'm not sure exactly how this is going to be laid out. So since I'm not ordering any black vinyl, I won't be doing this and I'm not going to be working on this until I figure out exactly what I want that to look like. And I can't do any vinyl down here on the cowling because I need to install my gear leg and figure out how to install the gear leg fairing. I need to get that gear leg fairing fitted first before I can figure out how I want to work the color of the vinyl through here. In order to do that, I got to put the gear leg fairing on and the wheel pants. When I was thinking about all of that, I remembered that I need to revisit my gear leg stiffeners, so I still need to do that. Yesterday I spent time with the cowling because I needed to come in. I think I've talked about this before. I needed to come in and uh, do some sanding, do a little bit of, I needed to open up some gaps and kind of uh, just make sure the gaps were open enough and even. You may remember from other videos that I had epoxied the inside of both cowlings and I had some epoxy that had worked its way out onto the outside of the cowling. All of that needed to be sanded smooth. The cowling itself, both top and bottom, needed to be sanded. So I did all of that yesterday. I cleaned up the gaps, reshaped some minor things, uh, sanded stuff, whatever. That's still in work. I have new pins. I'm going to use the Vans supplied, not supplied, but I bought the Vans pins with the welded tab. Those are going to get installed and screwed in place. I still need to do that work. I've got a vent line in the engine compartment I still need to run. So I'm just going to be jumping around. That's, that's the bottom line. So I'm still going to be chipping away at the vinyl. Um, but before I go back to that, I need to figure, I need to, you know, get some cowling work wrapped up and gear leg fairings and all that. So 
what I'm planning on doing today, I'm going to try to wrap, wrap up the cowling work. I think the only thing I have left to do is, like I said, I've got to fit the pins with the welded tabs and put nut plates and get them installed. And I just remembered I need to finish the uh, the um, the very thin reflective insulation that I had glued to the bottom of the cowling. I had only done one side. I got to do the other side. So another loose end. I got to wrap that up. I'd like to get the cowling stuff done today. All of it. The pins, the insulation, have it done and ready for vinyl. And then at that point I could do the top cowling anytime before I do the vinyl on the bottom cowling. Like I said, I got to fit the uh, intersection fairing. Before I do that, I got to bring up the gear leg fairing, all that kind of stuff. So let me get rolling on, uh, on this cowling work and, um, I will talk to you guys later. Howdy, everyone. Let me get you caught back up a little bit on the uh, happenings out here in the shop. So like I said, these videos coming up might be a little bit more sporadic and a little bit more uh, chopped up and jumping from thing to thing because I'm at the point, like I said, where I'm kind of doing loose end type of work. So... Um, I haven't done anything else really with the hinge, hinge pin mod. I'm basically waiting on screws. I need two screws that are going to be roughly, I think I need like an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter long screws, but they need to be the 100 degree countersunk. And I don't have any. I need to buy them. Um, I only need two. I'll probably end up having to buy a pack. But anywho, I haven't done that yet. So nothing else has been done with this at this time. I did not take any pictures or video, but I did. Um, you may have noticed when I was talking about this kind of work, uh, I've got some shots of this door on the back side with the cowling flipped over. The uh, hinge pin for this needed to be dealt with. I just had a really long hinge pin temporarily in here and I had taken care of that. So this pin is now permanently in place. I took care of that and I installed my, uh, my actual hinge pins for the cowling with the, with the welded tab. There's a hole here for a screw. And then of course, underneath here is a, uh, a nut plate. So these are now done. I've taken care of both of those. And you've probably noticed when I first started this video that I have my wheel pants back on. You can see that these are now painted, the wheel pants and the gear leg fairing. And the reason I put this back together, like I had mentioned, I believe, is that I need to do the vinyl on the cowling. But in order to do that, I needed to get the intersection fairings put on. And before I do that, of course, I need the gear leg and all that put on, or, or the gear leg fairing. So I put these on, and I fitted the, uh, the intersection fairings, and I added nut plates, and I got those all finished. They are trimmed, everything is nut plated, and they are painted. They are just sitting up here still drying. They are dry. I may put them on later today, but uh, we'll see. And this is just spray paint, uh, just out of a can, Rust-Oleum, Gloss White. They're fine. I'm not going to get freaked out over them. Um, they're not as good as they could be. You know, when you really, really look at them, they're not that super smooth, uh, you know, auto show quality, hot rod, super smooth, awesome paint job. Um, but again, not really in it for the show. I'm in it for the go, so to speak, right? Anywho, so that's done. Another loose end taken care of. Um, what else? I've, uh, I think I've talked about this already, but maybe not. I've, I've cleaned up, uh, seams and, and, uh, opened up some gaps and things like that with the cowling. 
cleaned everything really well, uh, took care of when I epoxied like these inlet ramps that are in here. Yeah, I've gotten when I had epoxied them into place and also when I coated the inside of the cowlings with epoxy, I had some uh, epoxy on the outside in these areas of the inlets in different places and I had gotten epoxy on my gloves and then I was handling the cowlings so they were basically like epoxy fingerprints everywhere. All of that has been cleaned off. These are 100% ready for vinyl. So another loose end taken care of. Uh, and I think that's it. I'm sure there's a couple other little things. But anywho, that's what I've been doing. I've just been picking away at the loose end stuff. So if I can go back here to the rudder real quick just to explain some things. So with all of my tail surfaces, the horizontal stabilizer itself, the elevators, things like that the vertical stabilizer and the rudder. They have fiberglass fairings, fiberglass tips. I'm not skilled enough to vinyl wrap this kind of stuff, right? Because this has a curve to it, this has got a curve to it, and then you've got, you know, this back this back here. You know, how do you wrap all of that, right? It can be done, I'm sure. I don't want to fool with it. So I'm just going to paint all that. Same thing with the horizontal stabilizer. You've got the tips on the horizontal, then you've got the, the fiberglass tips on the elevators. I plan on painting all that, and I think that's what I'm going to work on today. So I've got a couple of choices. I've got, uh, those are going to be white, those fiberglass tips, except for the rudder. The rudder and the, uh, the rudder and the vertical stabilizer. Those are going to be the same burnt yellow as the stripes. If I was smart, I would start there because I am going to try to wrap that with the or with the burnt yellow now that I think about it because I'm not going to be able to find that in a spray paint that would exactly match it. So if I attempt to wrap that and I'm successful, in theory I could wrap all the other fiberglass tips with white. But I'm not confident that's going to be possible. So I was going to go ahead, since I have the paint available, the white paint, I was going to go ahead and paint the fiberglass tips and then come back and tackle that with the vinyl. So I got a couple of paints to choose from. I got some brush on Rust-Oleum. I got some spray on Rust-Oleum. Um, but if you remember, the the tail surfaces are already wrapped in vinyl so i'm gonna have to protect all that before i spray paint and i think that's what i'm going to work on next but we'll see i think that's all the loose end stuff that i've done recently like i've just talked about so i'm going to move on to maybe doing some spray painting today since i have my uh, intersection fairings done i can temporarily screw those in place i could potentially start working on the vinyl around those and around on the cowling, things like that. We'll just have to see how the day plays out um, and see if the weather is going to cooperate for, for spray painting outside. So that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later.